In this data, or excuse me, in this video, I will illustrate how to analyze your data or how to um, demonstrate, illustrate your data using a scatter plot. Um, I will be using data from Table 3-2 in the Murrell Plant Taxonomy textbook. And these data were collected on two different species um, of the same genus. And um, there are flower measurements from, indivi from 14 individual plants from each species. So once again, when looking at data, it's good to start with some descriptive statistics. So I will calculate the mean, the standard deviation, and the standard error. So the mean, the formula for mean is simply equals average. I'm going to select all of the data for species A Corolla tube and calculate the mean for that character. Then to calculate the means of my other characters, I will simply drag this little box across and then I have all of the means for both Corolla tube and calyx lobe for calyx lobe length and for both my species. So let's set these um, set these significant digits to two decimals after the two digits after the, after the decimal. All right, standard deviation formula is STDEV parentheses. Again, I choose my data, close the parentheses and enter. There's my standard deviation. Again, I will copy that formula across and I will change the significant digits to something more reasonable. Now, standard error, there is not a, an Excel formula for it, so you have to kind of piece it together. The standard error is equal to the square root of the standard deviation uh, excuse me, it's equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So the formula here is equals, I want to put in the standard deviation that I've already calculated, so I will just select that cell, then I'm going to divide that by the square root, sqrt, of the number of measurements that I had. So to figure out the number of measurements, I could either, I could just put in 14 because I know that I have 14, or I could ask Excel to count how many I had. So count how many measurements I had. Close parentheses for count, close parentheses for square root, and enter. So this is my standard error. Once again, I can copy that across to the other cells and adjust my significant digits. All right, so now I have mean, standard deviations, and standard errors. So one way of illustrating these data is to show a scatter plot, which would plot corolla tube versus calyx lobe for each species. So basically, I'm going to have a set of xy points, the first one being 2.5 millimeters versus 5 millimeters. 2.5 on the x, 5 on the y. And then I have all of these x, y points that I want to scatter out on a grid. So to do that in Excel, uh, first I want to do species A. So I will do Corolla tube versus Corolla lobe. And I will insert a scatter plot and um, unfortunately, it doesn't capture my titles very well. So instead of having this title there, I really want um, to use, I really want the Corolla tube length on the x axis and the calyx lobe length on the y axis. So to put those in, I'll go into the layout, go into axis titles. I'll choose my primary horizontal axis. I want that below the axis, so I can just type it in. 
Corolla tube length in millimeters. I also want a Y axis. I prefer a rotated title. And for this, I want calyx lobe length, also in millimeters. All right. Now, um, I don't want my key here to say calyx, calyx lobe length. What I have here really is species A. So I'm going to go into my select data and I'm going to choose this calyx lobe length series and I'm going to edit that so it is called species A. And all I have to do is call the series name and then type on, um, click on the cell that it contains that name. And now that series is called species A. But I also want species B data in my table, in my graph. So to put species B data in the graph, I'm going to add a series. I'm going to call this series name species B. So in the series name, I will click on the cell where this, where this um, species B name is. For the X values, I want these values. For the Y values, I want corolla, calyx lobe length. And then I have species A and species B. And I can say OK for that. So that is how you do a scatter plot showing um, two different characters on two different groups of plants. Now I can also use these same data and I can analyze whether the differences in means between species, so the corolla tube mean versus spe in species A versus the corolla tube mean in species B, I can analyze whether these two means are significantly different. And so I can use a t-test to analyze corolla tube length and I can use another t-test to analyze calyx lobe length. So I want to show you um, a way to do a t-test in Excel using the data analysis options. So go into the data tab, select data analysis, and I want to do a two sample t-test, two sample assuming unequal variances. I'll click OK. For my variable one range, I want to choose my species A Corolla tube. For my variable two range, I want to go to species B, Corolla tube. Now I probably should not, uh, let me start over here. I probably should not choose to put in um, labels since my labels are the same for both of these. So here's my first array. My second array is from species B. Um, I'm not going to put in a hypothesized mean difference. I want my output on this same page, so I'll click on that circle and then I will choose a place to put it. I'd like to have it start right there. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now the nice thing about using the data analysis t-test is that it goes ahead and it calculates the mean and the variance for you from the variance you can calculate standard deviation and standard error. Um, and then it also does either a one-tailed or a two-tailed test. Let's see, we'll make that so we can read it. So either a one-tailed or two-tailed. We want to use a two-tail. So our um, p-value is 0.1. So it's a little bit higher than our critical p-value of 0 0.05. So this is our t-test and I want to label this t-test. This is for Corolla 